Home heating with nothing more than H2O. Up next in tonight's Boise Green Living, how the next heat wave could come from your faucet. You're watching today's Channel 6 News, live at 10. So no matter how you heat your home, it's probably not cheap. Got your latest bill? May also not be the most eco-friendly method either. But what if you could use ordinary water as a home heating fuel? In tonight's Sports of Green Living Report, Lincoln Graves shows us how it's already possible. The heat comes out right here, and if you put your hand over there, Mark Ackerman kneels over the machine he helped create. This is the first one in the world. Essentially, a normal space heater. But look inside, and you can see it's different. All because of its fuel source. Oh, well, we have got a heating unit that operates on water. It uses water as its fuel. More precisely, it's separating water into hydrogen and oxygen, and then using the hydrogen as fuel. Now, that's been done before and with past disasters. Hello, everybody. This is Dino Don at the uh, Stan Myers Estate uh, to give you a quick view of some of the things that's uh, available in this. This here is the original home heating unit that uh, Stan was working on prior to his death. It's the steam resonator. Control panel. Now this thing has a uh, complete enclosure that covers the whole thing up, so it's uh, been removed so you can see basically what there is. And we'll pan around over here, and there's some filing cabinets. I thought of nuclear bombs going off, and I thought of the Hindenburg crashing to the ground. And really, it is the safest gas that you can possibly imagine. So safe, they claim, that Ackerman and his business partner, Randy Bunn, are sharing how to build these heaters with the general public. Their eventual belief? These little heaters, and perhaps future furnace-sized ones, will be the wave of the future. Yeah, seeing is believing, and uh, when they see and they feel the heat uh, coming off it, they can see that this is a concept that is going to be here to stay.